Now, when I was a child, I had a false concept of who a saint was. And that's the way I have been taught. I have been taught that a saint is one that is canonized into the church. And he's made out of wood, or he's made out of marble, or he's made out of rock, or something. Once he's lived his life upon earth, now he becomes a statue, and now he becomes canonized by the church, and now that is a saint. But that's not the true biblical teaching of a saint. The word saint here is hagios in Greek. And the word hagios, it speaks of consecration. It speaks of separation. It speaks of pureness. It speaks of blamelessness. And it speaks also of being set apart to God. And it's like Dr. McGee says, you're either a saint or you're an ain't. You know? <laughs> and so I'd rather be a saint than an ain't. And I think it's important that when we realize what we are, from now on, when you talk to me, call me Saint Raul, okay? Because <laughs> that's biblical. You're a saint too. And you know, when you begin to see your position in Jesus Christ, and you begin to see that God has called me to be a saint, to me that is amazing. Why me? Why you? I mean, when you think of the things that you do, and how you fall short every day, and yet God says, you are my separated ones. You want to know why God didn't destroy David when he committed sin against Bathsheba, when he killed all those people? And let me, let me give you some counsel on this. See, God will forgive you for your sins, and he will continue to forgive you, and he will continue to hold you up as long as you don't lose your love for God. But the moment you lose your heart and, God, and, and the love that you have for God, then God will give you up just like he gave up Saul. That was the difference between Saul and David. David had a heart after God's own heart. Even though David blew it, he committed adultery, he committed murder, he did everything else. Yet God said, David is a man after my own heart. Why? Because David loves me. David really loves me. And I think that if we get our eyes on God, and we get our eyes on Jesus, and we begin to see our lives in Jesus Christ, we begin to see that as, as a child of God now, I have become separated one to God. I become holy. Now, it doesn't say anything that we become perfect, because there's no one here that is going to become perfect until we get to heaven. We're all going to miss the mark every day. But my position in Jesus Christ is a saint. Holy. Consecrated. Separated. Blameless. Sacred. And I think that if we would begin to understand our position in Jesus Christ, then we would understand Romans 8, 1, where it says, Therefore now there is no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. You don't have to be condemned anymore. You don't have to be bummed out all the time. Ooh.